from legendary locals we all know to people you should get to know. Follow Ipswich Today on your favourite app and never miss an episode or go to ipswichtoday.com.au. Coming up, Council responds to Homeless Review, major earthworks begin at Colleges Crossing and get ready for an expanded festival of horsepower. It's Thursday, May 16, 2024, and I'm Alan Roebuck. Welcome to episode 360 of Ipswich Today, which acknowledges the traditional custodians of the land on which it is produced and pays respects to elders past, present and emerging. This podcast is supported by Kinetics, people-powered web hosting trusted by Australian businesses since 1999. First up in this wrap of local news, Ipswich City Council is keen to hear your feedback about its library services through a quick online survey. Last year, just over 2,000 people took part. This year, you have until June 17 to give your feedback, and it takes about 10 minutes to complete. The survey on the Shape Your Ipswich website is open to library members and non-members. Mayor Theresa Harding issued a statement this week which addresses the homelessness and housing crisis facing Ipswich. This coincided with a meeting with Rachel Hunter from the Independent Review on Homelessness Response in Queensland. Harding said that while the state is tasked with the responsibility for housing and homelessness, the community generally looks to councils to step up when times get tough and to advocate on their behalf. She called for a homeless health outreach team to be established in Ipswich, similar to the ones currently in place in Brisbane, Gold Coast, Logan, Sunshine Coast and Townsville. The Queensland Government commissioned an independent review of the response to homelessness in Queensland, which started on March 21 this year. The final report will be provided within 10 months and consultation is currently happening with those experiencing homelessness, government and industry. For more information on the review, look for the link in the show notes. The restoration of Colleges Crossing Recreation Reserve in Chua into a new flood-friendly public park is progressing well, according to Council, with demolition now complete and earthworks underway. The New Look Recreation Area will have fewer permanent structures more trees and green space to reflect community feedback. More than 80% of respondents said they wanted a more resilient, back-to-nature design with open green space, trees and options for events such as food trucks. New structures will be at a higher level and improved for disability access. It's anticipated work will be completed late this year or early next, some three years after the last major flood. The annual Festival of Horsepower has added two new events this year, the Queensland Karting Championships and the Western Star Race Meet at Marburg, adding to the excitement over the month-long program of high-octane events. Drag racing, horse racing, V8 supercars and everything in between. The Festival of Horsepower is ideal if you have the need for speed. June 1 at Queensland Raceway features Cruise the Night with food trucks and family fun. At the end of the month, two days of thunder with a round of the National Racing Car Championship. Drag racing with the Winter Nationals roars back to life at Willowbank Raceway from June 6 to 9 featuring crowd favourite, the Top Fuelers. The Ipswich Cup is on Saturday, June 22, one of the largest events on the calendar. And Queensland Kart Championships will draw competitors from all over Australia, competing for the crown of state champion over three days, June 28 to 30. The sounds of Ipswich in the last episode was recorded at Carabin Station Car Park. Indoor sounds are coming in future episodes. In the meantime, another sound outdoors.
listen for this episode's sound location in the next show. And a reminder to look for handy links in the show notes. Ipswich Today is supported by Kinetics, people-powered web hosting trusted by Australian businesses since 1999. This podcast is listener supported. Please make a once only gift or regular donation to help keep it online. Just go to ipswichtoday.com.au. Follow and stream this podcast from your favourite app, including iHeartRadio, or play Ipswich Today on smart speakers. Music is supplied by Purple Planet Music. This is Alan Roebuck. Thank you for listening. Enjoying Ipswich today? Please share the love on your socials.